down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. Shinders in your fever and scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send our full stop? Okay, uh, I'm Taz. I've been at the Saints for this must be my fourth year, I think. So, um, yeah, just slowly been building my way up. So, I'm in um, captain of Div 2. Div 2. Who's your coach? Winnie. Winnie, Winnie good Wayland. coach. She's, uh, she's, she you just, can say whatever, yeah. you can be as honest as you want. <laughs> she just talked about how much she loved burpees and that just put her down a peg yeah, a bit. Yeah, but, um, yeah, she's all right. She um, makes us work hard. and <laughs> she work hard. So, what, yeah, what, in a coach, really? No, she's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Nothing bad for you, I suppose. Um, right. Uh, we're here with Dupes, or uh, Jax. She's a new player at the club. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Dupes. Um, yeah, I'm new to the club. I just moved to Cairns um, in Feb, originally from Victoria. And yeah, we're about in Victoria. Bendigo in Victoria. Bendigo. Oh, there's a lot of footballers yeah. from Bendigo. Do you know any of the footballers? Yeah. Oh, Name right. some. Oh, name some. Which ones do you know? Do you know any of the names? At Saints? Yeah. No. no. Don't know either. Oh, right. <laughs> do you know the Bendigo footballers that aren't up here, though? Yeah. Right. right <laughs> Obviously. Right. Good. Yeah. Um, who, what, what, what grade are you playing at the moment? Um, Div 1. Div 1. Who's yeah. your coach in Div 1? Dries. Is she a tough coach? Um, at trainings, yeah, look at it. <laughs> okay, what are you doing tonight? Um, well, I see a speaker over there, so I'm guessing the beep test. Speed test, right. Yeah, and some boxing, and probably some sprinting, so that'll be great. Rumour is those boxing gloves are very stinky, so... Great, I like the, the hands. pads from last week, yeah. The pads don't even stink compared to these gloves. You can... <laughs> Can we drag this out so I miss the beep test? Behind yeah, us? so you're obviously a slack person. <laughs> Lazy to start with. Um, I'm Sarah Sheehan, known as Sheba. Um, I'm one of the only locals in the club. I grew up in Trinity Beach. Um, I play yep. goal defence, goalkeeper. Goal defence, right. Mm-hmm. Very nice. How long have you been at the club? Um, I've been at the club for playing for Saints for about five years. So from the start? From the start of the netball, yeah. Part of the furniture? Yes. Very nice, very nice. Very good. All right. Um. Um, well, I've played netball for a long time, but haven't had many achievements doing it. But uh, just a couple of months ago, I got premiership and the best and fairest in F grade indoor netball on a Sunday afternoon. So Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's pretty high quality, but that's probably what I've got. Any, any achievements a good achievement, I say? Yeah. Excellent. Short career, right. Um, playing for Northern Territory was pretty good. Um, How did you end up playing for the Northern Territory? Well, you said you're from Bendigo. Yeah, I'm from Bendigo. Um, I just got called up from Netball Australia to be an import. For an the import? Nationals. An import, yeah, because Northern Territory is pretty small so in terms of netball. So, um, right, since their size is pretty big, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Not many netballers in the Northern Territory. No. Right? Were you so, the only import? Uh, no, there's two others. Two others. Were yeah. they all from Bendigo or just all? No, nah, Melbourne. Melbourne? Oh, yeah. Very right. good. Yeah. So your greatest netball achievement is representing Northern Territory? Yeah, sure. Not even your state? Nah, they didn't want me. <laughs> I think it would have to be when Saints Red, um, which was a mixed netball team a couple of years ago. Saints Red mixed netball, beat, yep. Beat Saints Black, which had been heavily stacked with um, so A-grade netball. Name netballs. some names, name people, name people. The winning side? Yeah, winning uh, side. There was Ben Hallis, myself, Tim McCurdy, Camo, um, I think Couchy may have also played for us a couple of times and... We had a medal to give him, and he wasn't even in our team. He was playing for another team. But <laughs> Very nice. And who were the, the Chiefs? Who were the Chiefs that tried to stack their side? Uh, Drysdale and Winnie. Drysdale. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. win it all cost mentality. Stack team. Yeah, I've heard that about. Which we beat by one point. That's winning. That's yeah. what winning's all about. Um, I'm going to go for my. Um, adopted cousin by name, Sarah Sheehan, that she's been Sheehan. at right. the she's been at the club since before I got here, and she's at every social event, and she um, puts in hours everywhere, and trains hard, and doesn't get enough praise. No, doesn't get enough praise, I don't think. Right. So, it's a good cousin, because I've got go. her last name now as well. So. Oh dear. Yep. Lucky her. <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky you guys. All right. True. Bye. True. Yeah. Um, nah, I reckon McCurdy for sure. Emma McCurdy, yeah. unsung. What's the unsung about Emma? Um, works hard 100% of the time. 
Hannah hundred percent of the time. Does she yeah. give you free treatments for this or is there anything? <laughs> she better. She better. <laughs> All right, okay. Not right. even here, so she better. Oh, she's over there now. Oh, she's yeah. late. She's late. She's late. It's not a good start <laughs> no, for your unsung hero. Very good for underrated. A bit. Um, I'd have to say Arthur. Arthur. He's there every week. He's there. Scoring for us, scoring for all the teams. Um, yeah, Arthur. So I think Arthur probably deserves a big kiss on the cheek from all the netballs. Yeah. Definitely. Bring that to make his day. Come down, Arthur. He'll be there on Wednesday. He will be. That's right. He's there at the football too. He's working hard everywhere. Yeah. Question. Greatest sporting achievement that you'd like to achieve? So... If you had any talent or skill you could, what would you do? Um, I think that it was just a sport that I've taken up not that long ago and I'm pretty bad at it, but I'd like to get really good um, at being able to hit that triple 20 in the bullseye darts. With, the, with darts. Yep. Right, so do you, do you watch the darts on Foxtel at all? Yep, with the wizard. The wizard? Oh, yeah. the wizard. So he's your favourite. All right, <laughs> nah, excellent. I don't know so. about the favourite, but we have watched it a little bit. Been introduced mm. by some friends. And any any uh, pub pub events coming up for you that we can come and support? Um, no, we had a bit of a go at it at the Jack wait. Not that long ago, but no, right. Just, so I think maybe a darts tournament might be coming up. It could be. I'm not very. Yeah, well, just get me now before I get really good. Right. Well, keep us posted. <laughs> Any Saints netballer yep. doing darts will come and support. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Kaz. That's okay. Um, so you could, definitely uh, lawn bowls at the Olympics. Lawn sure. bowls at the Olympics. Yeah. Do you know sure. we nearly had an Olympian lawn bowler at our netball oh, our football shit. club? You have to ask How Jared. Old were they? Jared Hogan. <laughs> Jared Hogan's girlfriend, Jessica, nearly represented Australia in Lawn Bowls. Oh, that's a fair effort. So if, you, if you've I got really some just talent... I really want to wear the white slacks. Oh, so you're just doing it for the looks, right. Yeah. No actual sporting ability. <laughs> no. Oh, very good. Very good, Dukes. All right, well, thanks for your time, Dukes or Jax. Um, good to see you around the club. How are you enjoying the Saints? Good. It's good? fun. Yeah. Good. Oh, totally. Make sure you stick around and don't leave too soon. Try not to. Thanks, Dukes. Um, 100 metre sprint Olympian... So fastest person in the world. Fastest female in the world. Fastest female. Yeah. Oh. You think yeah, it's probably more glory being fastest in the world, but fastest yeah. female. Yeah. And that's fastest it. Fastest female. That'd yeah. be it. Nothing else. No. Just fast. Fast. <laughs> Quick. That's a, that I'm not about endurance. Not about endurance. All right. Flash. We call you Flash. Flash Shane. Life is full of legends starring the word burn. Comedian Bernie Mac, international musician Bernard Fanning, tennis great Bernard Tomic, the movie Weekend at Bernie's, and Burner. But now there's Burns Meats, officially endorsed by Cannes Saint socialite Dick Hogan. Hi, I'm Dick Hogan. Burns of quality meats. Same model as myself. Pleased to meet you and meet the pleasure. Sink your Saints choppers into a Burns Meat chop and head to Burns, Portsmouth and Menunda. Beware though, even though Burns Meat is delicious, it won't turn you into the funny man around the club because that title's already taken by crackers.